We've been around 25 years and we can now look back and see some of the great things that have happened. Utah is a great place to live today, but we didn't get here by accident. What in the 80s was a major problem of economic decline in the 1990s then became a problem of dramatic growth in the state. We want to grow faster and have jobs and homes and livings for everybody. But on the other side of the coin, we don't want to have more traffic and poorer air. They started Envision Utah as an effort to look at the growth that was coming, consider the options for the future, and engage everyone in the state in planning for and preparing for the future. It's easy to ask the public, what would you like your community to look like in the future? It's hard for them to visualize, well, this is what we have today, what else could it look like? But if you can hone in on these values, the things that we care about in our communities, the things that we want to retain, that gives us a lot of really good material to say, okay, here are the strategies that can advance and preserve those values. What are their hopes and their dreams and their priorities for the future? Then we take what we learn about Utah's values and we look at all the different ways that we could shape Utah's future around those values. We create what we call scenarios, which are basically pictures of what the future could be. And we say, if we do X, Y, and Z, then the future might look like this. Or if we do something a little bit differently, then the future will also look a little bit differently. And then we take those scenarios and we give them to the public. We give everyone a voice. We bring everyone to the table and give them the chance to weigh in on what scenarios they want. It's not just about choosing what's your favorite. It's about learning what it takes to actually get to the futures that you might want. I still get calls from other parts of the country asking about how did Utah do it? How did they become the gold standard? The model and the process that Envision Utah created has been followed and copied and relied on across the country because it actually works. It had never been done before to that scale and with that much public engagement. In Envision Utah speak, the process is a capital T and a capital P. It's the process. That has percolated and become part of the way that we do all of our work in the planning space in this community. The result of this process is a vision that has buy-in not just from a few select leaders, but from everyone across the state. And now we have a strategy and a plan to be able to make that happen. Envision Utah's reputation and the success of our work creates a great base to go forward and tackle the challenges that we face today. But our work is never done. We're still a growing state. We still have challenges. The future is always there to prepare for. If you think about it, there's a pretty good chance you'll do it better than if you don't. If you just stand by and watch, you've no one to blame but yourself for what happens. I've said before, and I still firmly believe, the best is yet to come.